For high schoolers growing up in the Me Too era, the Kavanaugh controversy is a hot topic. We caught up with some teens from four different states. There seems to be a, a direct divide between the perception of these allegations uh, between young girls and young boys. 17-year-old Brennan Leach, a senior from Pennsylvania, says serious actions of teens should matter later in their adult lives. What happens right now at high school parties or with friends or in social settings should not be any less severe or taken any less seriously than what happens at the adult level. And some boys, like 17-year-old Harrison Lawson, a member of the National Honor Society in Georgia, agree. I think once you're 17, or at least in high school, there's a certain level of self-control and understanding of what is right and wrong that everyone just kind of has. These kids are the same age Judge Kavanaugh was at the time he allegedly assaulted Christine Blasey Ford. Kavanaugh vehemently denies all accusations against him, insisting he never sexually assaulted anyone. Some of his defenders, including the president, discount the stories of his accusers. Amy, a high school senior in Arizona, says that backlash against women who step forward sets a bad example for young women. It shows girls my age that their voices don't matter, that if they are abused or treated badly in high school, it's, it's fine, they should just deal with it because boys will be boys. A recent national survey shows that three quarters of girls, 14 to 19, say they feel judged as a sexual object and unsafe as a girl. But the conversation surrounding the Kavanaugh nomination may be encouraging teen boys to think carefully about their actions. All this scandal with Kavanaugh has definitely been a big catalyst for especially what teenagers do at parties in mind. Amongst my guy friends, we've definitely talked talked a good bit about that. Daniel, a 17-year-old senior from Connecticut, says the conversation isn't just with his friends, but with his parents. I can remember my mom sort of telling me, you know, you have to be careful what kind of situations you get yourself in. Now a new conversation happening among America's teens between young men and young women. When I sit down with my guy friends who are confused, who are doubting the legitimacy of these allegations, and I sort of explain to them in a face-to-face -face way, you know, what this experience is like for young girls, you know, they do open up their mind. They listen, they're open to hearing, um, you know, what I have to say, what my friends have to say. Still, some boys raise concerns about the potential for unforeseen consequences in this era of accountability, that men may be subject to a new measure of judgment. You know, there's certainly a, a little bit of a worry about someone falsely accusing me of doing something, um, you know, years after the fact. That shouldn't, you know, take precedence over the fact that, you know, things like this happen to girls all the time.